spokesperson for any company that's my can be my nil plug for jaron purify if someone needs a spokesperson for their company you just let him go and he will sell everything <laughs> guys guys incredible we're talking eight. nil over here i don't know what i'm supposed to say i don't care but <laughs> jaron purify that was that was incredible about eight and a lot of times young young pitchers will they'll start to press a little bit, or hey, I have to continue throwing perfect to keep the shutout because we're not scoring. He always looks comfortable out there, unflappable. Is that kind of what leads to his success? He's the most detail-oriented, routine-oriented, regimented uh, kid that I maybe have come across in decades. And um, he, uh, he just goes about his preparation um, with it's almost like a like a methodical tactician um, where he he just is so mature beyond his years and it was an old soul and he just we had Spencer Strider come in and, and uh, I thought we were like talking to a Jedi master of the mental game that's what Spencer Strider is I mean how he goes about it and it was almost like a young Aiden Canuck same thing Skywalker there um, of just uh, the, the the week to week approach is you know I, I, he's not he's not building off of anything he's not uh, you know it's it's just it's just his routine and he's very consistent with his routine uh, regardless of what the start is and, and that's what makes him good is he just has a, a laser focus to his preparation of any of something. I just, that's why we were willing to put him in the rotation as a freshman because he doesn't seem like a freshman. Was there any consideration of maybe letting him go back out there and try to finish in the ninth? No, no. He uh, he is a freshman, um, and I only say that because he's not used to a workload for us to have the season for us to be the team we want to be and have the season we want to have, we're going to need Aiden Knock strong two months from now. So even just, of course, he physically could on April 14th throw 105, 110 pitches and finish the game. But um, if we can if we can keep him at whatever we kept him at today, 96 or whatever, 97, uh, that may be very valuable down the road, especially with a, a seven-month you had to, because of injuries, change some things up on the defensive side uh, starting last Sunday. Now you've got four games where you're kind of playing pretty much with these guys. You think today was a great experience for them, uh, especially the middle infield, to kind of have this kind of afternoon to kind of get their confidence going? I think so. I mean, you think back to when Andrew Tufo first was settling into the shortstop role and he made five errors in like four games and then went 22 games without an error. And, not saying that'll be Hindi, but you could just tell there was a reacclimation to a new position, even though he's played it his whole life. There's still just some, you know, just kind of getting settled out there. So today looked much more like the Jacob Hinderleiter we have seen. We saw all fall when both he and Chufo were were both playing shortstop in the fall. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think I think we're still going to have some moving parts especially with our catching situation and with Jimmy and Jacob Gerald both catching um, you know someone will have to play first when uh, when Jimmy overtop catches so you know we gave Tristan McClady a shot there today he's a shortstop coming out of high school we wanted the you know another athlete over there we've got Cooper Blauser as well Jack Crichton we've got guys who have done it um, so we may keep you know, tinkering there and just try to keep getting some guys opportunities and, you know, we're going to need them all because you never know when when someone's going to get their number called. Has uh, Tristan Smith been able to, to throw and what's the plan for him kind of going forward? Yeah, he'll start next week. He uh, he threw Friday, uh, threw a bullpen, looked great. Was a little bit pissed that he wasn't pitching Friday, uh, but we felt like better to get him built up for a week and play it safe um, 
but he's ready and he feels good, looks good. And so we should expect to see him back in action. What, what, I don't know if he'll start Friday or what day he'll start, but he'll, be, he'll start one of the games. So with the way Ethan played last night and going back to last week too, is it safe to say that that's kind of going to be your, your lineup on the weekend, those three? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think Tristan coming back is a huge boost for us, and Matt Marshall did an unbelievable job as a, as a you know Friday night starter, and um, still use him. You know, just maybe you know split the game and, and have him um, on the back half in a, in a long relief role um, or as a starter. I mean, it could go either way. But he, he was super valuable for us for these last however many, three, four weeks. Um, and he's been a Friday night starter his whole life too. So he was that was a comfortable role for him. But I think Ethan Darden has firmly planted, <coughs> planted himself as a, a weekend starter as he did last year. And he's just such a hyper-competitive kid that you know he does such a good job of getting ground balls. It was very, really unfortunate we couldn't play the defense. We played today for him yesterday. But he, he, he pitched great, and, and obviously what Aiden's doing right now is, is special. So it puts it, we feel like you know the, the pitching lines up puts ourselves in a position to, to have a chance to win a series. Did something happen with Brighton pregame for him to figure out a pitch in for him there so early? Yeah, he, um, he's been dealing with some back spasms, so we want to keep him going. Nate Hall, like we've got a lot of guys that haven't gotten routine action. So we want to want to keep these guys in there, keep them fresh. And uh, mentioned Blauser, and you know, there's everybody's good on the team. We've got guys who are barely playing who would be, you know, everyday starters elsewhere. And we know that, and uh, we want them to stay here. And, and uh, so we got to get them in there, and got to got to get them action. And you never know when we're going to need them as well. Um, but yeah, we we're going to give them a. a start today but his, his back was just tightening up so uh, but he'll be back out there he was he, he probably could have gone but we'll uh, we'll just keep keep uh, doing rehab with that and have him ready to go anything new with Andrew as far as official word on him yet anything new updates he's got an appointment uh, this week and uh, we'll probably have a, an announcement on that uh, I would say this week but uh, yeah it's doubtful Will Taylor's fine. I know he suffered a, kind of like a scary fall near left field line. So in the game, is like everything okay with him? I think so. He kind of rolled over his uh, his glove hand, kind of an awkward. L luckily for him, he's taken a lot of hits. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he knows how to manipulate his body. It's. I mean, we can start talking about two-sport athletes, multi-sport athletes, especially youngsters. And just the reason Will Taylor is able to do what he's able to do is just because he's had reps being an athlete and hitting the ground and having – collision type plays and so he, he knows how to absorb a fall uh, but he did that was a little awkward the way he rolled over his glove but he'll be fine he's he's as tough as they come you know, you know six innings without you know, getting a run across I mean, do you worry at all about him starting to press or was, was there something about this team that you were confident that something was going to happen I think everybody was pressing even the fans I mean we can hear them and you know we hear the moans even in our dugout too. I mean, everybody's pressing, right? I mean, we got shut out, uh, you know, got shut out yesterday, and now it's like 15 straight innings without scoring. And there's probably a couple innings from the previous game before that that, uh, you know, so I don't know how many consecutive zeros that is, but it's a lot. And so 19. yeah, 19. So 19 consecutive innings without scoring. That's uh, that's 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 absolute cause for some pressing uh, so um, yeah you could feel it and uh, that's why we felt like we needed to force the action a little bit uh, you know get the short game going and just do something different and uh, just and the guys were hitting the ball good I mean we had a lot of hard contact the guys were hitting a lot of a lot of exit velos over 100 miles an hour today um, just right into the wind or right at somebody and that almost makes it worse because you're doing everything right, not getting the result. All right, thank you, Coach.